Madam President, why do you think people should vote for you and not Trump? Oh, well, you see. Okay, you see. We have Trump. And we have me. The reason you should pick me over, over the former president, Donald Trump, is because I don't name call. I lift people up. I lift them up. I don't name call like this ding pan over here. Okay? This moron name call and I don't okay because when we think about yellow school buses we realize that they are caused by yellow school buses and I'm getting very emotional about this okay I don't know why it's not even an emotional subject but I'm going to get emotional okay okay so you should vote for me because one I'm female Number two, I'm black. Number three, I'm half Indian. And number four, I will protect seniors from scams because I worked at a call center my whole life. Okay? My whole life. So I know their tactics inside and out. Okay? Okay? So vote for me. Mr. Former President, you have one minute to respond. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, you shouldn't vote for her because she's Indian and she scams people. But anyways, I am the Sigma and I like Riz because we need to make Ohio great again because this was the greatest country ever before when I was president. But once Biden, I met Harris, became vice president, she was the worst president Vice President in the history of our great country, Joe. I met Kamala, David, same person. Anyways, you should vote for me because I will build a wall. Again with the wall. What was that? I'm talking. I'm talking, okay? Okay, this kind of caught me off guard there, but continue. We need to build the wall. But aren't we a melting pot? What gives you what gives you the idea that we shouldn't just let people in whenever they want to? Why do you think we have to build a wall to keep people out? Just tell them. Don't. You see, that's weak leadership right there. She's the worst vice president in the history of our great country, and I was the best president in the history of our great country, and no one's been greater than me, no one ever will be, besides me, okay? Which is why you should vote for me, because I'm the greatest president. All right, thank you for that, um, both of you. Um, how would you say we can stop climate change? And remember, this is a new topic, so please stay on topic this time. All right, um, and Kamala, you are first. Okay. That is a very good question, and for that I thank you. For that I thank you. We are going to be very transparent with the American people, okay? Super transparent. And by transparent, I mean see-through, okay? So if you look through my eye, you can see through it. Anyways, we need to, number one, stop breathing. That puts carbon dioxide into the air. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So if we just all banned breathing, it'll stop. Number two, ban global warming. Okay? We need to, we need to ban global warming. <laughs> Anyways, if we ban the global warming, it will stop. And number three, we need to implement electric vehicles, particularly yellow school buses. We can make electric yellow school buses. Because raise your hand, who doesn't love a yellow school bus besides me? I love yellow school buses. I just love yellow school buses. We might not have one on the meet Friday, but I love yellow school buses. All right, thank you, Kamal, Kamal, whoever. 
Uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, what is your thing? I think climate change is a total hoax, a complete hoax, and it's just a way for people to get in office to freak out about the environment. It's a total hoax, and I think we should just ban stupidity because the reason we why we have global warming is because America's stupid. They think just because we have summer, it's global warming. Now, let me tell you this, Kamala. Let me no, no, let me tell you this. Why do you think global warming's a thing? You see, because when I was president, Earth temperatures didn't rise at all. But once you became president, Earth temperatures rose. Explain, explain that. Explain that. Explain that. Uh, thank you both. Um, kind of. Um, so I'm just gonna have to get some closing statements. Um, Kamala, what is yours? All right. Clearly. Clearly. We need a better president. Okay. Gas prices have gone up. I am not Joe Biden. Clearly. Okay. Literally not Joe Biden. As you can tell, if you look at me, I am not Joe Biden. I don't name call like this dingbat. No, I do. I don't. I lift people up. Okay. I ask if they're okay. Okay. And I finally, I don't name call like that moron. Okay. Thank you, Vice President Kamala. Uh, Trump. No, you should vote for me because I know where you live and I'm the Sigma. I have so many aura points. I'm almost above Sigma. I'm almost to Alpha because the skibbity toilets need to make Ohio great again. Now, Kamala, you're the worst vice president ever in history. I am the best president ever in history, which is why you should vote for me and not sleepy Kamala. Sorry, cringy Kamala. All right. Good night, America.